What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's not gonna be that much of a vlog. I don't think we're gonna really be filming a whole lot today. It's probably just gonna be this clip. And um, this is mostly because I just I just don't wanna vlog today. Um, I had a really, really rough night. Um, Marissa had a really rough night. Uh, I came home and, and Spike had, had passed away. So uh, we, we just had to bury him outside. He was our youngest cat. Um, we noticed yesterday something was a little off with him. He, he's been acting off and on kind of strange, like eating meals and then not eating meals and then eating meals. And like, this is off and on, which is typical of him. He's always kind of been a little little like that. But it's, it's it was pretty worse uh, the, the last week or so where he'd, uh, he'd eat and then he'd go a day, another day, and then he'd eat. But he'd show no signs of like distress other than just, you know, that weirdness. But yesterday, um, he was being social like all day and he's not that type of cat like he's the type of cat that's like alright I'll be near you when I want to be near you and other than that get away from me but yesterday he was like just out everywhere in plain sight just wanted to be seen just laying down in random spots on the floor and I was just like this is not right of him he doesn't he doesn't do this so I just sat with him like uh, for quite a bit yesterday while Marissa was out and uh, just laid with him on the floor and just hung out with him. And then uh, I was like, all right, maybe uh, maybe this is this is a new spike. Maybe he just wants to be more friendly. But um, when I went to work, he, he started getting a little uh, uh, worse, I guess. Um, he well, wasn't, I can explain yeah, the rest She of can it. explain it a little better because I wasn't, wasn't here for it. But so, that was Marissa. So, yeah, um... After he left, Spike was, he was just very restless. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, usually he would hang out on, well, I didn't like him hanging out on the counter, but he wasn't feeling good, so he was hanging out here. And he just kept trying to get comfortable and fall asleep. And that's the other weird thing, is usually he's sleeping during the day, and then he comes alive at night. So he just kept, like, going back to side to side, and he just, he'd lay there with his eyes open. I'm like, something's not right. And, um... So I, I didn't feel right, like, leaving him be. So when I got in the shower, I asked my mom to watch him. So she did. And she told me that he had, while I was in the shower, he jumped off the counter and he was very wobbly. And I was like, that's not good at all. Um, and then he just kind of laid right under the desk over there. And he pretty much stayed there for, like, I don't know, like, three hours last night. And I sat there with him and he was doing the same thing, being restless, trying to get comfortable and softly crying and... You know, I just kept comforting him, and I'm telling my mom and Ken, I'm like, I don't want to go to bed. Like, I don't want to leave him be. Like, I just had this, like, feeling. I was like, I don't, like, I just want to be with him. I didn't, I, I didn't think he was going to pass away. I just had this, like, I just didn't feel right leaving him. So I ended up laying on the couch, and then I put him on a blanket right over here in the corner just to, like, watch him. I was going to put him next to me, but Allie would keep, like, walking by and bothering him. So I just put him in the corner. And I had, like, better feeling because then he started to, like, relax a little. He actually closed his eyes. I'm like, okay, maybe he's going to actually sleep and feel comfortable knowing I'm right there. And then about, say, like, 2.10 in the morning, he gets up and he just starts, like, crying. And he walks into the little table right there. He walks into this pole and he's just stumbling. I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, what's going on? And he cries like so loud he goes into the litter box he stumbles out like he didn't do anything in the box and he just lets out this really high-pitched scream and i started panicking and like um my cat that lives with my parents he has a history of seizure and it just reminded me of that so i started calling for my mom like mom mom like like i just didn't i didn't know what to do like so she came down with me and he take like he comes out of the litter box like as i'm calling for my mom and just kind of like plops down right like right about here, so and the litter's over there, so he didn't really make it that far. And he just cries, and within like 10 minutes, he just let go. Like, I, I don't understand, like, you think it was maybe an aneurysm or something? I don't... It was either, um, it was either that, I mean, it just seems so indicative of something neurological happening, like... The way he started wobbling and yeah, everything, I mean, and that's what happened to my mom when she had her aneurysm. She started yeah. wobbling, laid down, and then that was. I mean, obviously we'll we'll never know for sure, but, but 
I mean, it makes sense. Uh, he's an older cat. I yeah. Mean, he's 16. He wasn't that old, but he's no. still old. No. I mean, we have another cat that's going to be 19 this year. It's insane I don't know that. How he's still alive. How do the younger cats go? And, like, the biggest thing is, like, why is everything happening this week? Like, I just lost my grandmother. What was it, Sunday? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. And today I lost him, considered Monday at 2 15 ish in the morning. Like. It's going to be a rough week, I guess. Like, I don't get it. Like, why? I mean, I'm, I'm glad he's not in pain. Like, I mean, I don't know if he was in pain. I don't know. I'm just. He never showed any signs. No, of that's the whole pain. thing. Because we would have. He was purring and happy and headbutting and. Yeah, like, he he was doing so good. I mean, you guys see him on the vlogs. Like, he'd meow at us. And, like, he, you know, he's always so cute and cuddly and. Typical cat. Yeah, it just, it hurts so bad, and it's just... Yeah. He's never had, aside from asthma, he's never really had any no. health complications. No, and once we quit things. smoking, he stopped with the asthma, like... Yeah. I mean... That's... And that was a long time ago. It, many, many Because I quit smoking three years ago, and we stopped smoking uh, in the house several years before yeah. that. No respiratory issues. Nope. But... This in the is, last couple of years, he's, he hasn't had any seasonal allergies or anything like that. No, he's he was really doing good. This is literally the worst week ever. Like, I don't... Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, I don't... Vlog. We Neither of us feel up to vlogging. Yeah, um, I don't want to do anything today. No, I just... This hurts so much. Like... He's, like, the only cat that, like... He's the only pet ever, like, that just... he. Uh, you could just feel an understanding. Like, he just got you and you got him. Like, you knew yeah. what he wanted. He knew what... You know, he just... There's just mutual understanding, like... He knew when you needed company. He knew when yep. you didn't. Like, he knew when to try to cheer you up. Uh, you knew, I like, I knew when he needed, you know, it's just so weird. Like, he had just this human intellect to him that I, did, I don't have with any other pet. And and now I don't have that. I mean, Van Damme only cares about food. And, <laughs> I mean, Allie's a great companion. Don't get me wrong. No, I, she I is. She's a death. good girl. She was but very concerned about everything. She just doesn't have that level of understanding that he had. Like, it was so weird. No. Like he used to have his own spot on the bed. Like yep. he was just he knew where he knew to go. Where bedtime was. He'd come in. He just, you know, uh, it just sucks. It's just there's no replacing him. No, there never will be. And like the hardest thing, obviously, all around it sucks. But like, like I've cried so much. Like both of us. Like we may not seem as sad. We're obviously sad, but it's just I don't think I can get any more tears out. Like this is. But anyway, what I'm trying I to say. I'm just dehydrated. Yeah, I I I'm just so numb to everything. But, well, I want. But it hurt me a lot when, like, I got up this morning. Ken was still sleeping, and usually I'll get up and I say good morning to all the pets, like the birds included. I pet, and I don't pet the birds, but I pet the cats and the dog. Good morning. I, I wish I would pet them, but you know. But yeah, and it's just like usually I get up and he'd come right out because usually he sleeps in the laundry. He'd come right out. Do his little meows at me and saying hello, good morning. I pet him, change his water and purr, purr and like, purr up a storm. and like, the, the, like he used to actually follow me around the house and like sit at sit at the desk with me. It's just this whole routine he was now. A lap cat. Yeah, he was a big lap cat. He loved it. And like I used to, I mean, it is what it is. I used to kind of get mad when he'd like claw at my legs because he like I have all these marks all over my shoulders and legs from him. It's just. He's like this. Yeah. It's, I hate I hate losing pets. I hate losing family. I hate... I mean, he is family. It's just losing literally losing everybody right now. But I figured we'd let you guys know what happens. Um, a lot of you already know since we did make posts on social media. Um, you know, this is just such a hard time for us. And we still have to deal with... Uh, my grandma's services. She's gonna have her wake this Thursday. The funeral. Well, it's not a funeral, but I, don't, I still don't understand what it is. But she's being put to rest on Friday. Mm -hmm. The rest of this week is still going. But um, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. You got anything else you wanted to mention? No, just love your pets, love your family. Always. And I'm gonna. Like I usually do, I'm going to insert some pictures of Spike at the end of this. So, I love you, Spikey. You're a good baby boy. Good night. Good night.